In today's video, we're taking a look at an all new product from Eashin. Now this is called the Eashin LAL, and it's a three inch quadcopter that has HD recording capabilities due to the Cadex Turtle V2. So what we're gonna cover today is quite a lot and everything will be in the timestamps down below and also shown in the video progress bar. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's quickly start with the accessories just to get those out of the way real quick. So obviously you do get the quadcopter itself. I don't remember if it comes with a receiver. However, mine did not come with a receiver and I've added it this way. And you know, if you've seen the video footage, I don't think it was a great idea because this was constantly showing in the HD recording. So I don't recommend you setting it up uh, just like this. Probably you wanna put it on the back arm like this with the zip tie method here. So that's something you might might want to take into consideration before setting up your receiver on this so and again some of the things they do provide you is you get one battery strap it's a pretty decent strap that'll do the job and you also get a bunch of screws as spares which is really nice to see here and you get a bunch of zip ties as well and they give you two carbon fiber wrenches which are basically useless and that's about it for accessories so let's go ahead and jump into the second part of the video here so the lol 3 from eashin probably the best three inch quadcopters i've ever designed one it's pretty efficient two it's it flies really great out of the box and the price is just insane. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs here. So this thing can run both 3S and 4S setups here. Now, the way that I flew mine was on a 3S setup, which were 550 milliamp tattoo R lines. And I got pretty good flight time out of them. And uh, I was actually pretty happy and satisfied with it. However, I do need to pick up some 4S's to test 4S on this. But 3S was, it had enough power to do just about anything. The control was amazing. And just the overall design layout and the specs they've set up on here is a really great choice in my opinion. So let's go ahead and start out with the motors here. For the motors, you're using the LOL 3 motors. And they are 1408 3750 kV motors. So again, they can run both 3S and 4S. 4S, you obviously get more power. 3S is is, is good as well. I mean, it's, it's really great. That's what I was flying it on. So uh, you could use whatever you want. You're not going to have a terrible time either way, in my opinion. Now for stack, they're using an Eashin stack here. I don't know which one exactly, but I know the ESCs here are BL Heli 32 ESCs, believe it or not. 25 amps, 30 amp burst. We have an F411 microcontrol unit. And we also have an Eashin transmitter right here. Now the video transmitter or recently the eashin video transmitters are just really great in my opinion especially in my bando i find them to perform really great I, and i think they're probably outputting more power than actually rated for so if you put 25 milliwatts maybe it's putting 50 milliwatts or i'm not sure but i get really really good range like insane range and i really love that and it doesn't hinder my performance whatsoever because the video transmitter does hinder obviously your range and your trust in the quadcopter but here i just completely had trust in this thing and um yeah that's a really good thing to have here also for the video transmitters antenna it's a proper setup it's not hanging it's in a really good solid position and it's a proper antenna we're using the lollipop 3 antennas and these are really great antennas and obviously that does help in the range perspective now another thing that I also like to see here is if we take a closer look down inside we see we have a small capacitor and that's really great to see here and I didn't have any noise in my video feed which is always something that you want here. Now if we talk about the Cadex Turtle V2, I like this camera, it's not my favorite. I personally always prefer the run cams, they just, they just look so much better, especially with their HD recording capabilities. I love the look of the run cam splits, especially the new ones, those are just insane. I'm not saying this is bad, I'm just saying this is my preference. These always felt a little bit bluish to me, but obviously we could change that in the editing. However, in my flying, I kept everything default, I didn't do any edits to the color or anything of that nature, so you can see how it comes right out of the box here. The overall setup is really nice, it does 
auto record automatically and once you pull out the battery it'll stop the recording and everything is saved so you don't have to worry about pressing any buttons which is really great to see nowadays that's something you always want because um you know you'll tend to forget and pull out the battery for an amazing flight and then you lost your footage but here it does save once you pull out the battery which is really really great so something that I like to see here that I didn't see in the Viz Whoop was they used plastic, but here they're using TPU. So this is flexible stuff. It's not going to crack anytime soon. And the camera protection is beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. Uh, the way they've done it. Obviously, it does add a bit more weight, but it does protect your camera. And um, yeah, it's, it's it overall worked really great. And the anti-slip pad comes pre-installed. Again, is something really great to have. And if you take a closer look at the execution, it just looks like a robot freaking did these. Look at that. That's just so nice. Just the overall board execution layout. This is my wire. This is this is my execution. That's why it's terrible. But um, overall, it was a really easy thing to set up. Just set up the modes, binded it. Obviously, I had to slot them on receiver, bind it, and then I was just good to go. And I just started flying. And um, they do also, I forgot to mention, they also set, give you two sets of propellers, the ones that are currently on here, and they do give you some spares, which I have on the side somewhere. Now, if you take a closer look again at the frame here, it is a one-piece bottom plate, so if you break an arm, you're going to have to replace that whole bottom plate. But knowing Eishin, you'll readily find these available, and you'll also be able to get them pretty cheap. And again, something I really love seeing here are these protectors for the arms are really great, especially when you're landing. It keeps your overall you know frame in good shape as time goes on and as many landings as you do and I've been doing that quite a lot on all of my quadcopters recently is creating some sort of a landing skid and slash arm protectors in a way so it's really great to see that they've done that as well here and this is made out of TPU and it's not plastic and again that's a really great thing and that's something you always want to see here and also for batteries again I was using the Tattoo R-Line 550 milliamp uh, 3S LiPos here and these are these are pr proving to be really really great batteries actually becoming my favorite thing I'm gonna pick up some more of these so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the flying performance and see how well this thing flew and if I do recommend it and uh, at the price point is it a good deal or not so let's go ahead and jump into that all right guys so right now we're gonna be taking a look at the flying performance and see how well this thing goes now again I flew this on a 3S I didn't fly on a 4S so it was just a 3S 550 and the speed is there you'll get to see that as well so here I start off with just flying very nice and easy just to see if there's any weird wobbles twitches or anything because sometimes it does show there that, that it might have something but here we can tell it's it's absolutely fine it was a pretty calm day as you can tell I can do tricks just fine the rates were actually pretty good out of the box I think they're all default anyways and um Right here, it's just, you know, just doing my basic turns just to see how well it's doing. Here's a little punch out. It is pretty quick for 3S. That's, that's, that's really great, especially with that weight and it running a 3S. That's pretty fast, actually. Um, obviously, it'll be way faster on a 4S, but a 3S will do the job just fine if that's all you have. So it's, it's a really good, flexible quadcopter. I'm really curious to see how this will fly on a 4S, though. And uh, here I start doing little maneuvers just to see how much control I have because uh, this requires some, uh, you know, very delicate uh, punch outs just to if, you know, to avoid crashing basically at times. You get to see that. So like right there, I had to start bringing in the throttle. And usually if a quadcopter's motors are pretty underpowered, then I'd get pretty low there. But um, right there, it was just a quick test run, just basically testing the waters here. And it does have enough power just to keep itself in the air and to get out of tight situations. So the the overall torque and power is there when you need it. And I, I really like that. And the throttle range was pretty predictable throughout the whole thing. That's why I, it just got so maneuverable. You'll get to see me build more confidence as I start doing more of these. And uh, as you can tell, there's a two line jump right there. I really love those. And uh, let's go ahead and see some more. There's another one where I almost wrecked it. And you can see how well that the, the throttle is. I mean, okay, it went down really low, but that was because of my input there. So here I'm going for another line, you know, just after the motors have heated up maybe or something, see if anything weird happens again. And uh, this is how I usually test them out. If anything weird starts showing up, this is the time where it will start showing up. And I'll just do a little punch out and some tricks, see if it'll flip. It didn't do anything weird. It's handling itself. No death rolls, no nothing. And that's really great to see. And I really did enjoy flying this thing, like a lot, um, especially here. Usually I'm not a big fan of three-inch quadcopters, uh, but this one was was really great in my opinion. I mean, this is the HD recording that's from the Caddx itself here. We see we have no twitches, no jitters, no no jello, no nothing. But again, that could be changed with uh, if the if it was brighter outside, and you might need a uh, what is it called, the ND filter. But here, obviously, we had a pretty overcast day, so uh, we don't see if it does have those issues. Um, and yeah, it just it just flew really good. I started building more and more trust with this thing. 
And uh, I was, it's very capable and very acrobatic to do really awesome tricks here. So as you can tell, that was the, the stopping power, basically. That's what I call it. But it's like the torque of the motors that allow you to stop to wherever you are and where you wanted to if you executed it correctly. Still ha handling itself very well. Uh, no bounce backs, no nothing, as you can tell. It does have um, prop wash. I need some tuning towards the prop wash. If I do like a really nasty move where there's a lot of dirty air around me, it does tend to uh, just jiggle a little here and there. And that's really it. Overall, it was a really good flying quadcopter. I really did enjoy it. It's not the fastest. It is pretty efficient. And then you're not going to have to fight it in the air. And again, this was flown on the 3S. So I really think this is one of the best deals for a three inch quadcopter currently of this size so if you're looking for some you still have a lot of room in here to add some other things if you want to do for some reason a gps and um you can do all kinds of things you could probably even fit a cadex vista yeah you could fit a cadex vista in the back of this thing if you wanted to do that if, if they release one with a cadex vista this will be probably one of the uh, most awesome little quadcopters with uh, hd recording capabilities and well that's it guys everything is linked down below make sure you check those out those greatly support the channel and also come join my patreon i do a ton of giveaways go check it out if you don't like what you see don't join you do support the channel you get access to secret shop my open hardware schematics you get all kinds of crazy cool things that you could use for your own personal use and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out